Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Be patient to make your Filipina feel loved. With the name Love Beyond the Sea, I need to go where few men dare to go to define love, to define it and put it in terms that men who want to marry a Filipina or are married to one can sit back and soak some of it in. Knowing how to love your wife is heavy duty stuff and I'm working on some topics about how to make your Filipina wife feel loved. Please comment about this idea today of patience, what causes you to become impatient with a Filipina and where you have made some improvements. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea where I share what I have learned being married to my wife since May of 2015. Be patient. I am getting to the main topic. That is being patient. When someone is impatient with me, I definitely do not feel loved. Being impatient with someone sends the message that they are dumb and unimportant, not loved. Showing patience lets them know that they are valuable and you believe in them. I wonder how many people have not been able to accomplish something great in their life because of the impatience of someone close to them. It may have been a coach who pushed a player too hard, a teacher who uh, drove a student crazy because they were, weren't just patient enough. In some cases, being impatient with someone comes from not getting what you want when you want it. It definitely is a display of immaturity, and yes, I am calling out myself when I say that. Someone who is impatient will lose their tem temper frequently, frustrate others, not be able to maintain good relationships. That's important when we're talking about marriage. Someone could have a great personality and a good income, great income, but not be able to sustain a relationship with a Filipina if they are not patient. She might stay with him initially, but eventually a lack of patience will wear her down. I think being patient is listed first in the love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13, because it is foundational, very challenging, and has been established and proven over time. I am by nature very impatient, and that includes with myself. Being patient requires strength. Who would have thought? The Filipina you are dating or married to will definitely feel loved if you are patient with her. And that works both ways. I can tell my wife I love her, but she won't feel that way if I lose patience easily with her. Actions speak louder than words. I can buy my wife a lot of nice things. We can have a nice house. And if I'm impatient, then she will feel unloved. A Filipina will find a patient man an attractive one. Being patient allows her to reach her highest potential in every way. If my wife makes mistakes and I want her to know from experience that I will not blast her for it or put her down. That's got to take a lot to recover from, especially the more it happens. Being patient pays off. That's how I look at it. The more patient I can be, then the more my wife will feel comfortable with me and loved and be able to reach the potential she has, especially in being a wife. What challenges are there for a foreigner with a Filipina that can test his patience? Well, you could start with the differences in culture, her ability to speak and understand English, any differences related to an age gap. You have to watch age gap videos on that. Just too much to talk about here. Monetary needs of her family and adaptation of her to a new country can cover quite a few things that could make a, a man very impatient with her. And this is not a sign of weakness being patient. It's a sign of strength. It recognizes full well that something is not up to par and needs to improve or was hurtful, but can persevere while encouraging change. It is being in control of yourself for the good of the relationship. Imagine teaching your wife how to drive, which many of us have had to do, without patience. It will take patience when she seems to be spending too much time on social media. But then you realize that she is very far from home and all of the things that she is familiar with. When she is upset by rude and jealous co-workers, you can't just tell her to suck it up and get over it. It may take her a long time to get used to the cold weather if you live in a cold weather state like we do. I need to be patient with her going to school. It's a particular situation because it requires so much of her time before and after work but I need to support her, encourage her and encourage her throughout this year. This year is the final year, two semesters. And so December sometime and can't wait for that to be done with. 
and I'll have more time to her and uh, she'll have the degree uh, that she's looking forward to and it's it's very taxing on me and I really have to be careful to be patient with this. Being patient might be the quality you need most early on with your love beyond the sea.